was stopping me. That's how we went. What we were going about. He was stopping me. He even locked the door. I, it was really key. He locked the door. I didn't know where he kept the key. So I, when I get to the door, he draw me back. And that, that was what happened. Okay. Uh, the police. Uh, police. The, 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 the first one was both, the first one was twice, the instance, the first one on, on the next side, that was the first one. And then when, when I stabbed him to the, the first one twice, I threw the knife in the bed, then he was going for it while I went for it. So while I laid on the bed, that's when it came on me to to hold the knife, and that's when I managed to stab him with the knife. And then, and then when he dragged the knife on me, he managed to slice my hand. And then, as he was holding it, the knife broke. So it slipped off from his hand. I still managed to help help him, it. but then it was now weak. Okay, exactly. so why, why did you like what was it about the first time that you did like what did you do or what happened? I was I was I was trying to I was sleep I was trying to sleep. It was midnight, so we were drunk and we have um, smoked. So I was already like sleepy, and then Continue. and then I was already sleepy, and then when it came. Was there weed in the room? Have you known this guy and how did you meet him? Exactly. 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 Uh, I've known him for four months, five months. I met him too for me. I tried to introduce him to you. Yeah. Okay, so how regular do you think this? Not regular. Not regular. That was my first that's um um time long time yeah. okay so how long how long did you guys stay did you check in on sunday when did you die what did you die and when did you leave him and how were you able to escape from the room after killing him or you just walked in well why why was Lying there, I just I changed and then I left. The I looked for the key for where he ate it and then I left it there. So when you escaped, who did you reach out to? Where was the first place you went to? I didn't reach out to anybody. So okay, how do you yeah. feel when you know that you have killed somebody and you just sneaked out? How do you feel at like 21 committing this like, this kind of crime? What did you do with the ATM letter? Which is ATM? I will do some money. How much? About $3.80. How $5 million? On confirmed reports, have you that in your original account you have about $10 million? How did you get such amount of money? So how was it traced to you? Okay. 
What did you plan to do with the money? What I plan to do with the money? The money you withdrew from his account. To pay my fees. Okay, no. The guy, the guy who brought the drugs, who called the guy, whose customer is that guy who brought drugs um, to you guys? It was the one that called me. Drugs to both of I don't know. He's always having to um, um, smoke with him, so I don't know if that was the first time. In four months, you've known him. How many times have you gone out with him? And where do you and go? And what's the difference with this particular one? We haven't we haven't gone out like out. It's always like. We can meet and then we go to the house at BGC. Is it BGC or Banana Island? Where is it BGC? How did your parents get to know about this whole situation? Did you inform them yourself or how? Can you speak up? Can you speak up? It was 9 p.m. So when you uh, uh, do you live in school or you live with your parents? I stay with my parents. You stay with your parents and you left on a Sunday and this happened when? That's like three days in travel or thereabouts. Mm -hmm. Where did you tell your parents you were going to? I, I told them I told them I was going for us. For what? Or shoeing job? Yes. Have you been doing it before? Yes, I still Any other question? You checked in into the shop like, according to reports that you checked in with the foreign number. Did you have any plan to come to Afghan? Because of course no, it's it will be difficult to trace you with such foreign numbers. Is that is that correct? It's, it was not it's not difficult to trace me with the number, but I didn't have um um Mind of doing that. But is it correct to say you, you checked in with the foreign number? That was the number I used in texting the That was the number you used in? So you you have a foreign number, just is that is that it? Yes. Okay. What do you do with that foreign so what? number? Exactly. Number. What country? What country? Number. So why should you How even you be keeping it? Mm -hmm. so without the foreign number. It's an app. It's an app. Okay, there is an app. Yes, app that generates numbers. How would you do that? Yeah, yes, but you don't have to tell me. It's not the data. It's not the data. It's not the data. It's not the data. What do you do with the foreign number? Why would you, like, just on your own, decide to have a foreign number? Okay. Are we good? Yeah, we are good. Oh, are you okay? Sorry, um... Oh, sorry, what are you Thank you for being bold, okay? Don't sit down, No, no, don't Thank you for speaking up, please. Chidima, please, look here. Look up, look up. Just, just... Chidima. We are capturing your Yeah, that's why... Let's go. Wait, I beg. Chidima, just look here, please. Look here. Please, now. Chidima, please, look up. Look, look up now. She's very, she's very beautiful. How about the take her from back? Alright, so if you are just joining us, we are at the Lagos State Police Command uh, where 
the Commissioner of Police has presented the prime suspect uh, who murdered the CEO of Super TV. Uh, she was said to be seeing him, she was said to be his girlfriend, and uh, she just explained everything that happened uh, to us here. She said uh, they were taking drugs, uh, they were, according to her, they were taking loud, uh, they were taking what she called SK, and they were also having fun, and uh, she didn't want him doing more things with her, and they had an argument, and she stabbed him twice. Her, her name is Chidima. She is a 300 level student of the University of Lagos. Uh, she studying mass communication uh, in Unilag. So here she is. Uh, Chidima is her name. And uh, she has confessed to the police of truly killing uh, the CEO of Super TV. She's been taken away now. Yeah, she's about to be taken away now and um, there yeah, she is now on a mask and um, she explained everything that happened uh, and also explained the last minutes of uh, the lady of uh, Super TV who, who was murdered by her. So there you have it. Uh, it's, the, it's the one person parade here. Uh, the Commissioner of Police said he called us journalists here to interrogate the lady and um, it was said to have happened overnight yesterday it was an overnight mission but she was picked up uh, in the home of her parents and uh, from that moment she was picked up up until late this afternoon she was being interrogated uh, she was being asked questions by the members of the nigerian police force especially the top members of the uh, KEDA and uh, yes, uh, she spoke with us a few minutes ago confirming that she truly was the one who uh, killed the CEO of Super TV. Uh, she said they were having drugs, uh, they've been hanging out uh, before what happened over the weekend did happen. They, they've known each other for a while. She said um, she was introduced to him by her friends. And when we asked her, what her parents thought, or where her parents thought she was. She said that they thought she went for an ushering job and she used to freelance in that particular business. Uh, but that was not the case, as uh, she was away with her sugar daddy, having fun and uh, smoking. Unfortunately, it ended in a very controversial way and one of the duo lost their lives. Uh, she said um, he was the late uh, CEO of Super TV, was the one who ordered for the drugs that they were smoking. And uh, we got on confirmed reports that uh, when the uh, accounts, account numbers were traced, uh, that she indeed had about 10 million naira in her account. But she denied it and said she didn't have that much. Uh, she also denied the news that had been making the rounds that Five million naira was not in her account. Uh, she didn't withdraw five million naira from his account, but that it was three hundred and eighty thousand naira that she withdrew. Uh, when I asked her what she wanted to do with the money, she said she wanted to pay her school fees with the money. So we are just joining us. Her name is Chidima. Uh, she's a 21-year-old. Uh, the police uh, spokesperson said she was born in the year 1999. And she's a 300 level student of the University of Lagos studying mass communication. The drilling is over, the questions are over, the commission of police is done.
and uh, she will soon be taken away from this premises. But at the moment she's still here, she's in this van uh, right in front of me. A report to Chimia said that the police officials will be ferrying away from this location soon. Uh, but there you have it, the 21-year-old children man, a University of Lagos Mass Communication 300 level undergraduate. Has just been paraded to the press and this is an unusual parade uh, this is a one person parade usually we have uh, people sitting down and being interrogated suspects being interrogated but this is not a usual interrogation uh, because of how urgent uh, this particular case is so Chinema is being ferried away now and, uh, We'll be following this case up, Trust Punch to always give you updates, as we always do. And um, we'll be giving you updates as regards this case and, of course, several other cases, as we always do. Uh, there you have it. She's being taken away from these premises. <laughs> Thank you very much for being a part of this. Uh, trust us to to always, uh, always, 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 always give you the latest as regards reports happening around the country, as regards stories eating up our polity, and this. Is one of the many things we do. Uh, my name is Sheikh Gondwani. I'm behalf of the entire team. I'm saying a very big thank you to you, our viewers. Have yourselves a fantastic and lovely afternoon. Bye for now.